I honestly think that this right here is gonna be one of the most important videos I've ever made. You know, I've talked so much about how it was when my hair was falling out and there's been one occasion when I've been able to like actually show you and today I can take you back to how exactly how I was thinking. I'm gonna show you literally the exact messages, the one time that I got real, I got open with a colleague of mine, a good friend of mine at the time. So we'll finish this, find somewhere else to go and we'll dive right into it. So this video is gonna be for the guys who are out there who are in the thick of it. And they watch my videos and I get so many comments from people who, honestly, they're, they're hurting. You know, they come with a lot of hate, a lot of anger. They feel angry at the situation. Their hair's falling out. Probably feeling pretty helpless. And I really try my best to never sort of snap back in any sort of, you know, defense because people are hating on me and hating on the channel and hating on whatever they think I'm promoting because I was there. So. I was there and I was scrolling through my phone. The one time that I got real, I got open with a colleague of mine, a good friend of mine at the time. And this is going back in 2017, okay? And I wanna share it with you guys, especially the ones who are out there, they're angry with the hair loss situation. They're feeling pretty helpless with it. And I just wanna once again, just show you that honestly guys, there is light at the end of this tunnel. It seemed completely impossible. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna read you the exact messages. So here we go, I'm back into WeChat. Let me paint the picture. It's 2017, April 4th. I'm in China, it's the afternoon. I probably had some classes. As you know, I was teaching English out there. Come home, my hair had been falling out. I'd found out my hair was falling out for a couple of months and it got to the point where, yeah, I was really starting to struggle with it. And I was recognizing like, why is this playing on my mind all the time? I was like, this is, this is an issue. And I just, oh God. Okay, this is uh, bringing up some uncomfortable emotions, which I did not expect. I think probably because the kindness of this person, but to be honest, at this point, I wasn't super social out there because obviously there's only a few foreigners. And foreigners, it sounds weird saying that, but that's what we are out there essentially. And this person was a, a really good friend. Um, I, I don't talk to them anymore, unfortunately. It's been, been years since I've spoken to them, but they're a colleague of mine. And um, yeah, they really helped me out. They really helped me out in this point. And it's weird how I'm pushing back so much. And I think I kind of want to show this. I mean, I'm, again, I'm lucky that I've still got these messages. And I kind of just want to show this for loads of reasons, really. Like... Like I said before, I, I was there. I, I, I totally get it. You know, the people who are just saying crazy things in the comment section, <sighs> use the word crazy, for lack of a better phrase, great phrase, crazy things in the comment sections. You know, some really like mind blowing stuff. And it's I think it's easy for myself and other people who have kind of like buried the whole, I say buried, but some people have, you know, the people who are like really over bravado, like, oh, you're a pussy, just shave it off. You know, like, let's be real, like, be real. They've kind of, you know, that's, that's, that's not the whole story, right? And for me, like, I've obviously been sort of detached from this stuff for a long time now. But obviously, I don't know, like, it does seem weird as a guy to be banging on about your hair falling out and, like, how you, you felt, like, really... I don't know, just not confident. Just You just don't feel good. And um, it's just a really weird thing. It's just, just really like, just not a nice feeling at all. I think for all people, like so many people, there's different things that throw up these sort of emotions. But obviously the one I can relate to is, is going bold when you're like fucking 25. And for some people it's younger, some people it's older, but oh, dude, this is what, I think this, I'm just always trying to unpack this whole losing your hair thing um, to try and un better understand it myself and yeah, genuinely just help other people because 
I just find it fascinating how it affects us so much. Like, why? Why is that? And I think that's like what this, a lot of what this channel is about. It's just this like discovery. So we get to this end point where we're all just like, cool with it. Anyway, um, here we go. So it's April 4th, 2017. I don't know if I'm going to keep swearing in, but they're swearing here. Um, I'll probably blank it out, to be honest. I'll blank out the name of the person just because I haven't asked them if, they, um, if they're cool with me doing it. But here we go. I was like, fuck. I need a friend and my dad isn't replying to me. I shouldn't say that, but I know I'm a C word and I like to joke about people's insecurities, but please be there. And I say joke about people's insecurities just because, you know, banter, mate, you know, that whole banter thing that you have with people. And um, yeah, I used to like banter with, with this girl that I used to work with. And, um, you know, it was lighthearted, but it was lighthearted, right, until I had... In an insecurity a big insecurity uh, that's that's what i'm basically getting at you know it was all well and good for me like because i was cool but as soon as it was back on me and i was feeling insecure oh and i actually said this because i i had another colleague andrew he's been on the podcast and yeah i used to banner him about his like shoddy hairline um and thinning out and he was quite he was like really comfortable with it to be fair he was like is what it is mate like i knew it was coming since day one because this whole family's like the guys in their family are all bold and i used to like joke about him and oh ha, ha, ha lo and behold like two years later boom i was in the right same situation so i think that's pretty much the, the why i threw that little disclaimer in i was like are you here i was like yeah i'm here what do you need should i come over I was like, I just need someone to talk to. I just discovered that my hair or has already started to fall out. I can, though my hair's dirty and kind of gross, but you know, if you don't mind, then I don't. So it might seem melodramatic, but I'm literally gutted about it. I had a cry. Fuck me. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I literally did. I, th I think I just felt a bit hopeless about it. And yeah, I just like had a little cry. To, I, I did uh, how did you find that out she said part of me thought I had lasted up until now and maybe it would never fall out I mentioned that before right the hairline was solid I'm not going to laugh at your insecurities I know silly things can be crippling she said but that was a bit of a wait what moment right there for me obviously you know she, um, she I guess she's like, wait, you're wor worried about your hair falling out. And I think a lot of women get surprised at like how much this is can be an issue. She said, she asked me, she said, are you afraid of getting older? Obviously, there's a bit of delay in because I'm just typing frantically and she's catching up. I was recording a random video and as I bent down to pick something up, when I watched it back, I was like, why is my hair skin color at the top of my head? Right, I saw that like bold spot. She said. Or are you afraid of losing your looks or other people judging you? She's like, oh, that's just, that's an unfortunate surprise. And yeah, it was. So she's asking me, like, well, what is it you're actually afraid of? And to be fair, like, this girl, she did, she's, like, really on the ball with, like, this conversation. So I'm forever, forever thankful, to be honest. I'm glad I kind of reached out to her. Um, and here it gets real. I was like, Honestly, I think I look old. No, honestly, I think I look ugly, old, and shit with no hair. You right? That's what I was thinking. I was like, right, this is it. My hair's falling out. I'm going to look terrible. And having a shit... I mean, this is where we're at, right? I, I get it, why people shit talk me and, and the channel and stuff. I was in the same, like, just freak out mode. Not thinking rationally at all. And having a shit, bold man haircut like my dad, it will look terrible. Dad, I'm really sorry I said that, but... Like I said, I wasn't really thinking rationally. You look brilliant. But yeah, I was like the horseshoe, right? I was imagining the horseshoe, like the real thinning comb over. That is the picture I had in my mind. I like the way I look now. And I did. I liked the way I looked. It's like, oh, what's a bold man haircut? <laughs> I think it's also because I feel like I have lost. Lost what? Like hair on the sides comb over. I'm explaining the bold man haircut. Or an overly long fringe to hide it, yeah. Oh yeah, no one should ever have a comb over. So I feel like I've lost, lost the battle of not going bold ever. You know, I was like proud that I had got to 25 and had no signs of hair loss. Um, and I really thought I'm going to be safe. And I was really like relaxed about that. 
and boom, I wasn't. And I was like, no. I wasn't like, no, actually, I was like, why me? Um, she's like, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think if you have something like that, it's best just to go for it. My friend is balding and he just shaves his head. This person, to be fair, this conversation could have been like way more influential than I ever gave it credit for, for like the route I took, to be fair. She could have been like, no, you need to do this. Yeah, you're going to look terrible, but she wasn't. It's good advice. I was like, right, like when I saw it for real, I literally couldn't believe it. And I know it sounds dumb, but like the last four months, I thought that, oh yeah, I thought that heat light in the bathroom was overly hot on my head. And now I know why. I've said that before, like in China, they've got those heat lamps. I was like, oh, like all the time. I was like, why is this so hot on my head? Like if I put like are these bulbs like super powered up and uh, no, it was just the hair. There was less hair. So there was nothing in between my scalp and those heat lights. So it was like literally burning the top of my head because I was quite tall um, in relation to the light. And also hats don't suit me at all and they don't. No, like not even one bit. I, and I can't grow a good beard. I'm fucked. So there there you go. Like That was sums it up there with that last phrase. Like that was literally, can't grow a beard. Gonna look terrible. Like it's over. I can't grow a good beard yet. Oh, okay, you should nip that in the bud because um, props that'll come in, right? And, and it often does. Especially if you say your dad has an epic one. Yeah, my dad does have a, can grow a good beard. So at the time I thought I couldn't. I was like 24. My beard was shocking. Like, literally shocking. So I was freaking out about that. But yeah, denial is not going to work anymore, it seems. So yeah, it was happening. She was like, well, you can't deny it. you got to, you got to like, face this head on. So here I go. Like, like, having a bold white head is part of that horrible foreign man in Asia look. So I'm being quite disrespectful here. Um, so that's what I mean. I was there. And now I'm mad. And I feel like I want to blame China. Like maybe it's because I'm stressed here and I can't relax and it's made my hair fall out sooner. Which is real. I think that, that probably did play a part. Really, I haven't seen bold white-headed guy anywhere. And yeah, honestly, I don't know why I said that because I can't remember really seeing many either. Um, I think I was like going for that really typical... Oh, I don't know. I just I don't even know what I was thinking at this time. Although, if you do see a dude with an epic beard and a shaved head, let me know. I've got a thing for that look. This is what she said. I was like, mm, all right. I'm going to need to do some internet searches on how to deal with going bald. And I did, right? And shout out Max the Silver because he came up and helped me out with that. But most probably this would have happened anyway sooner or later, she said. It's not something you can change, unfortunately. So she's keeping it super real, which, um, you know, I'm so thankful for once again. Probably my dad, granddad, all bold as shit. But I was just hoping so bad. I feel so young. And I did feel young. You know, I was like going to university at the time. Again, right, for the second time to learn Chinese. And I was like, this is an old man thing. You know that? And that's what, how I know that's how a lot of you guys feel. You feel like going bold is something I should, that should be happening when I'm like 60. It's older than that, you know. 50, 60, 70. Not late teens 20s 30s even even like early 40s people feel like this is way too early to become bold and she was like you are young yeah i suppose it's uncomfortable suddenly being suddenly confronted with age she said maybe you should maybe maybe i sh i said maybe i should shave my head now and just get used to it yeah massively you know agreeing to um being confronted with it, being uncomfortable. She's like, it's like seeing your first wrinkle for, for women or, or whoever, maybe. I never even thought about it before. Well, I kind of joked about it, like, oh, I want to try long hair before it falls out, and I, and I did. But I was in denial, or I thought, oh, maybe it won't actually fall out. I kind of thought I'd get lucky, to be honest. That was when I was growing my long hair. I think I still had long hair at this point in this conversation. Um... Right, what do I want to save here? Maybe you should... Yes, yeah, so, the... so there you go. I already, I already thought... Luckily, I already thought, maybe I should just shave it now, early, and have more time just to get used to it and, like, just be... Just commit. Like, this is me. 
I know this is going to be me eventually. So I'm just going to go all in now and just, just like ball, just balls to the wall, just go for it. Obviously, that's what I did, but I didn't feel too. I didn't feel like that at the time. She's like, that might work. Lean into it and just shave it all off. Could be nice and cool in the summer. She's like, oh, you might get sunburn though. But I think I look like a twat too. Is also a big problem. <laughs> Why? Have you shaved your head before, or do you think it's in principle skinhead skinheads are twats? Yeah, I've shaved it before. I did for like six months, every two weeks. Then when I grew it back, literally everyone was like, "Oh, thank God, you look so much better with hair." And that was when I was working in this nightclub in this bar. And yeah, I grew my hair back and like all the regulars, like girl, women, whatever, my colleagues were like, oh mate, you look a lot better. Or, it was weird. It was like a different type of pe person was saying you look better. But like a lot of the lads, you know, a lot of like rugged people were like, oh dude, why, why did you, you look epic with a shaved head. So that's an interest, that was interesting. But I wasn't, I had no, I was only focused on the negative. That's all I could, fo all I could think about. She's like, ha, ah, but who gives a shit what other people think? Some of my boyfriends also used to whine when I had short hair. She's like, fuck them. I looked great. She was like, oh, you might scare some kids at the school, though. I, I was kind of worried about that, too, to be honest. I was like, lol. But what if I agree with them? It does look shit. She said, then keep it like you like it. I mean, you're not bold yet. And I wasn't. I know, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be difficult, because I was, like, pushing back on everything she said. I just don't know what to think. It's like, now nah, I know how, how, how tough stuff like this can be. This is what girls go through all the time. Many, if, if, if not most women I know, hate their bodies, or at least some part. I don't like, I don't, but I work it, at it. Says like, I don't, but I work at it. Not in the exercise sense, of course, but like mentally. But society tells you all the time that there's something wrong with you. She's like, but society tells you all the time that there's something wrong with how you look. And, and she's dead right. So, oh, my dad was a fat lot of help. He just said, accept it. <laughs> he said, accept it. There are worse things that could happen to you. <laughs> it's like, no shit. Um, that was pretty much his response, but fair play. She was like, tits aren't big enough, legs aren't nice, you're balding, you are not got a flat stomach, but you can't t change your body to, to some extent, obviously. Not the essentials. And frankly, it's just kind of sad when people try, like the comb over, um, not hiding anything, don't do that. She was just saying, don't go for the comb over, like that's not the way forward. Interesting point, right, about um, there's always something like that you feel like, oh, if I could just change this, or oh, this isn't good enough. Always like, like oh, this isn't good enough. I don't know, I believe that as long as you're confident you can pull anything off, that's why Rihanna looks awesome, she said, with the weird things she wears. But that's not easy and doesn't come naturally to most people. And also, I'm someone who is on the come up. It's a bit, a bit cocky, but, you know, I felt good. I, like I said, I was feeling good at this time. I'd moved to another country, like, I was going up in, in my job. I was getting promoted. I had new opportunities. I was learning a new language. That was going really well. The gym at this point was going pretty well. Um, I hadn't been with my girlfriend very long and things there were going well. My wife now, obviously. Um, I was like, I'm on the come up. <laughs> who says that? Also, I'm someone who is on the come up in this shitty world and looks count for a lot. I'm amused at myself for saying that, but it looks count for a lot. And also, I can forget about doing any serious acting in China they're some of the most judgmental people of all. And, you know, I did feel like looks were judged heavily there, especially foreigners. She's like, looks do count for a lot. What do you mean I'm on the come up? Like, I'm trying to get somewhere in life, make money, be my own boss. And I was, like, this is like the phase where I was proper, like, um, reading a ton of books um, on, like, being an entrepreneur and um, discovering your life purpose. Like, self-help, like, going through the list of, like, all the popular self-help books. Um, cause I was on like, you know, I was finding myself. M for men, confidence counts more in terms of attractiveness to women anyway. Oh, okay, she gets it. I said, looks help when trying to do just about anything. But yeah, fuck it, I'll do some reading now on how to accept it, like for real. So I was really, I think this is, this is a key point here. My life up to that point had been like quite 
quite an easy cruise like through school and stuff like that I, I put in enough effort to do relatively well uh, and I'd got by like really smoothly I hadn't had like a major roadblock this was the first major roadblock so because it was the first thing uh, and I think it's probably is for a lot of you guys which we're fortunate for let's be honest you can think I can think like that now but I didn't have the mental toughness to deal with it like I didn't have the insight I didn't have the overview I didn't have the maturity to see the bigger picture I was just focused on the looks aspect of it you know and I'd felt like well my life has been a pretty easy cruise up to this point with the image and the personality that I've got you know I've got like literally up to the point like any job I'd, I'd gone for I'd got I'd got decent grades like I don't know been accepted into sports teams whatever right decent um track record in like relationships stuff like that with the with how I looked to that point it's like right this look this image has carried me this far successfully so if it if that then changes I'm going to be screwed and if this image changes I won't get all those from this point on I won't have the same success in life moving forward and I thought like that purely because I didn't have the let's say mental maturity or the, I didn't have the experience to deal to deal with the situation and think logically about it and I think that is a big reason why it was such a struggle I feel like I've just made a key point there I'll be real with you guys um, so here we go she's like they do looks looks do count the only reason I have eye cream and all that is if I still look 25 when I'm 35 um, then I'll still be cashing in you know what I mean anyway I was like right time for a beard and I was like right I've, I've got a I felt better already like, after this you know just getting it out there key look how that conversation changed you know just me speaking my mind I was kind of ignoring I wasn't ignoring what she was saying but I was like I was just getting it out I was telling someone this is how I feel and after doing that I started to feel right some like logic started entering my mind I realized okay you know what like I'm gonna have to deal with this I was like right time for a beard and, uh, and an overdose of tattoos I think but that's key here I'll do some reading on how to accept it for real yeah she was like sounds like something that could be uh talk to you talk you out of but i'm not going to i was like yeah jokes aside though i'm, I'm really gutted about it um i was like oh well the pretty boy look is is out of the window for me i should start now while i'm still mad about it you know like oh, i'll go get a tattoo now and make myself feel better so to wrap it up i was like for real at this moment i feel like my self-confidence has taken a real blow it's like yeah but she, she was like i think you're more fragile than you really like put out and she was probably right i was quite like a gift of the gab like quite good at uh, sort of talking to sort of put on a bit of confidence and i think that comes back from when i was younger i was quite like overweight and i would always deflect um the sort of attention on me by like making jokes at other people's expense like witty like again banter i was quite good at that um i say good at it but i used to do that a lot when i was in school so that was it, pretty much. That was the conversation that I had with um, the colleague of mine back three and a half years ago now. Crazy. And um, I just wanted to show, share that with you guys because there's, there's a few key takeaways here. One, to the people who are still thinking like that, you know, like, I can't grow a beard, I'm going to look terrible and all those things. Like, I get it. I completely understand where you're coming from. So that's why, dude... No hard feelings. Like if you watch my videos and, and, and you watch other people's stories and you feel like, oh, these guys are nuts. Like what are they talking about? And you feel like kind of angry about the situation. I've got no hard feelings when, when you kind of like hate on the videos or, or, you know, like write some like disrespectful stuff or whatever because um, probably, you know, you're hurting. You're coming, you're, you're not like feeling, you know, you're hurting. Okay. <laughs> like that's just how it is. You know, like that probably isn't the real you. That probably isn't the real you. That probably isn't the real you, but you um you're not you're not like you're not feeling good. 
and, and that's often what happens, right? I think also I really hope I really wanted to share that because I think you can see how and we talked about this before but I think you can see how me just getting it out there to someone really like getting real with it a good a good friend like that someone who's going to listen and, and give you some solid advice I'd almost like figured it out for myself through that conversation I just needed to like verbalize it and I think that's probably what a lot of you guys do as well when they get in contact with me via email or Instagram messenger. So, like, I appreciate those. And by the time I've asked them a few questions, like, how do they feel and, like, what are they doing and how do they kind of see the future panning out? I think that's just probably what some people need, just like that. So, um, keep those messaging coming and I'll always try to, like, get back to as many of you guys as I can. But if you don't reach out to me by all means do so but if, if it's not to me if it's to someone else then then do it because i really think it's key and um and i think lastly lastly just to kind of show you guys that you can be in that situation and completely turn it around genuinely you can so there you go that was my um that's where i was at three and a half years ago and I'm, I'm happy to say now, like I'm in a much, much better place. Um, and I made a key point there, which I only could have made as a result of my hair falling out and this and the whole experience with it. So um, it's a game changer for a lot of guys, but honestly, like a game changer in a good way, because yeah, like life's not fair like you know you feel like that like why is my hair falling out this isn't fair and it's not but if it wasn't that it, it would be something else you know it's always going to happen it's just that's just how things pan out it's always going to happen something is going to come along the massive curveball and i think that when it comes to hair loss you know there's um there's a good way of dealing with it And I, I just hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed that little insight, that little look into it. If you enjoy these like these style videos and you've watched till now, then let me know in the comments section below because I, I quite enjoy doing these. I can only really do them on my day off, but I quite enjoy doing these these style videos. And um, yeah, just thanks so much, guys. Like, thanks so much for for the support for the channel. Um, you got people every day like watching these videos and, and turning the situation around and long may it continue so thanks for supporting thanks for watching this video as always you know i'm going to be back very soon um for more videos like this and sharing other people's stories and we're going to keep going with this stuff and change the game change the game so i will see you in that next one goodbye i think we're going to go have a breakfast actually